Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hi. I first want to say my voice is gone. I don't know where it went. I recorded another video and it's gone. Do you hear it? Oh my god. Literally my voice is gonna crack. <laughs> my voice is gonna crack. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I, this is how it is. This is how my voice sounds. But today we're gonna be talking about subliminals while manifesting because a lot of people are always like, what's your take on subliminals? Like, do you believe in them? Like, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm just gonna give my give my thoughts on this i do want to quickly say if you're interested in coaching i have a story highlight on my instagram that has information on that if you're interested check it out here's my instagram other than that i don't really have anything else to say so let's get into it let's get into it ew a subliminal is basically something that affects your mind without you meaning to or sometimes with you meaning to some people consciously listen to subliminals to get into their subconscious mind and imprint on that which I believe in. I believe that is something you can do. I I believe that with good subliminals, they can really help and they can be super helpful and get your manifestation quicker. Um, I do want to say that you have to be careful when it comes to subliminals because what I always say is a bad subliminal will do more harm than a good subliminal will do good. So you have to be careful with subliminals. A lot of YouTube accounts post subliminals and will have millions of views and then you watch it and it's not very good subliminal. One way you will know if it's a bad subliminal is if you get nightmares. I don't know why people will listen to the same subliminal if they get nightmares from it. Like if you get nightmares from it, stop listening. Once someone said, if you get nightmares from it, it's a good thing because all your negative thoughts in your subconscious are purging. No, 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 no. Dream is a manifestation of your subconscious. So whatever you're dreaming about is directly in your subconscious. And if you're dreaming bad things and it's happened because you're listening to a subliminal, that is not good. That is not what you want. So if that happens, immediately stop watching it. Stop watching it. Because there are so many bad subliminals, I recommend making your own. They're actually super easy and they can be really helpful. I like listening to my affirmations in my own voice because it's normal for me. It sounds normal to me, obviously, because it's my voice. And um, I believe that it imprints on my subconscious quicker and better. And if you don't believe that, that's cool. But um, I'm gonna walk you through how to make a subliminal and how to listen to it and yeah. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is find background noise. I like rain sounds, some people like fire crackling, some people like waves, whatever kind of noise you want in the background, white noise, whatever. Put it in the background, screen record it, and put it into like iMovie or something, whatever you want, and just loop it as long as you want. And then you're going to find out what your manifestation is and create affirmations. If you don't know what affirmations to use, I did a video on affirmations and it helps you pick out the affirmations you need. Um, I normally do like four-ish affirmations. I did a subliminal once with like 10 to 15. It worked fine. Do whatever you want. If you want three affirmations, do three affirmations. If you want 35 affirmations, put 35 affirmations. Like it's up to you. In my personal opinion, I like doing less, but if you want to do more, do more. Whatever you assume is true is true. So if you think more affirmations helps you, more affirmations are gonna help you. After you have the affirmations picked, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna record your voice saying them. For example, my SP and I are dating. Me and my SP are in a happy, healthy relationship. My SP loves me. And just record those and then loop those over and over and over, over the rain sounds. And you can have your subliminal be a minute long and you just listen to it throughout the day. Or you can have it 30 minutes long and you can meditate on it. It's literally up to you. Um, you can also sleep with it on. You can listen to it when you first wake up in the morning. You can listen to it when you're brushing your teeth. You can listen to it whenever you want and just listen to the subliminal. And this is a good way to remember to say your affirmations because who doesn't want to listen to a subliminal that they spent time making? So... I think it's a really good idea to make a subliminal and listen to it. It's your own voice. You know it's not going to be bad and you're going to remember to say your affirmations because now you have a video of you saying your affirmations and you can just listen to it and it helps. Um, I think it's a really good way to manifest. I know a lot of people struggle with intrusive thoughts and they're like, I affirm, but I always have negative thoughts coming after that and telling me I'm never going to do this and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, I always remind myself that I can do this, but they are always there. So if that's you and you struggle with intrusive thoughts or you get distracted easily, make a subliminal and listen to that instead. Um, there are tons of ways to manifest. If something doesn't work for you, find a way that works. And this is a way that might work for you. So try it out. What's the worst that can happen? You don't like it? And you never use it again that's basically it i do believe in subliminals i do think that they're helpful but i do think you need to be careful with the certain subliminals you listen to because you don't want to listen to a bad subliminal 
that would be bad um if you do it's not a huge deal but it obviously isn't great so that's it for today's video sorry today's video is kind of short um but i don't think i have anything else to say so if you have any questions any comments or whatever comment them down below if you are interested in coaching check out my instagram story and um yeah i love you guys bye